So I would keep the forms like really basic. God, now I have to try and learn my hockeys again. So I use creasing a lot to get the general form so I can pull the shapes around. I'm sure there's something like this in Blender. So I keep the mesh really low poly, but I preview it smooth with creasing on. So that way I can pull out the forms like I need to. I don't know, not really an aircraft or whatever. And then when I'm happy with it, I subdivide it. And then this is now my new base mesh. And then I can continue to, you know, pull shapes around. Like we can, we can crease this stuff here. And this is how I get more complex forms like this. So I use creasing as like a modeling tool to get the shapes I need. And then when I'm happy with it, I, uh, I subdivide it again. And then we have the next level. And you can just keep doing this. You just keep going and adding stuff. But yeah, this isn't like a, a Maya particular workflow. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sure there's something in... um. I'm sure there's stuff in Blender which does the same sort of thing. And then when I'm happy with it, I'll triple edge it afterwards. So yeah, this is how you experiment with like vents and stuff like that. Because this, you can keep it really low poly and start to experiment with like, you know, inlets and stuff like that. Pretty powerful stuff. And then yeah, once again, when you're happy with it, subdivide it, that's your new base, base, base. And then yeah, that's it. This man for a game asset? Oh, okay, fair enough. But I mean, this will still give you a decent base. Like it's, it's, a, it's from a cube, it's nothing too crazy. But this is the thing, right? There's people tell me, oh, Blend is faster because, like, hockey, everything's hockeyed. I'm like, okay, cool, but, like, I have creasing hotkeyed. Like, I can do this because I have, I have these stuff as personal hockeys to do this sort of stuff. So, things being hotkeyed, meaning things are faster, is not really true because you can always just do your own hockeys, which is what I do. <laughs> I mean, I totally broke the mesh now, but you get the idea. You keep it low. This is also why I don't think there's any need for nerbs. I don't I don't think people use nerbs anymore anyway, but like... You don't need to do cars with nerbs, because you can just do this sort of thing. So this is how I build cars as well. Anything with like, flowy shapes, I'll do it, I'll do it this way. Just a low poly base mesh, creasing, pull shapes around, get it to the shape I need to. Then subdivide it. That's a very ugly shape, by the way, but you get the point. 